Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the, the next topic is synchronous motor. So up to now, we discussed about the synchronous generator that is the alternator. Now the second part is the synchronous motor. We can call it as the second part. Why it is the second part? A simple thing. The synchronous machine is two types. One is synchronous generator. Another one is the synchronous motor. So synchronous generator, another name is alternator. So up to now, we have, we complete a lot of discussion on synchronous generator. Now we will enter into the synchronous motor. Yes. So how the synchronous motor working, we have to understand. So generally, synchronous motor and synchronous generator, both are the synchronous machine, construction is same. So that means it consisting of the, consisting of the motor is like this, motor is like this and the DC excitation is like this. This is the, it, it is a two pole machine for example, it may be north pole, it may be south pole. So, and the another construction is the armature. Armature is the state R part. Just better to write in exact shape. Armature is the state R part. Armature consisting of the conductors. Slots armature consisting of the armature slot. In this armature slot, we are using the winding. That is the armature winding. Armature winding. Generally, armature winding is the three phase winding and the three phase supply is given to this armature. Three phase AC supply. Three phase 50H AC supply. Three phase means maybe the R, Y, B. Three phase AC supply is given. Then the pole formation is done here. The pole formation, if it's Maybe it may be the two pole system. For example, initially pole is here, north pole, and initially here the south pole, for example. And whenever three phase supply is applied, the flux will the flux will rotate with the synchronous speed. The state R flux or state R rotating magnetic field. We can name it as flux due to the state R. It will rotate with synchronous speed ns that means what is this meaning here the north pole south pole is there here the north pole south poles also rotating with the synchronous speed just observe here just observe here for example poles formation is a different area for example here the south pole is there here the north pole is there for example just assume it then just observe here these north pole attracts towards the south pole and the south pole is attracts towards the north pole and these two poles are these rotor two poles are interlinked with the stator two poles rotor having north pole and south pole stator having the north pole and south pole these two are interlinked with the stator poles when the stator poles are rotate with the synchronous speed so this is the synchronous speed. Here the rotor poles also rotates with the synchronous speed. And then, then the rotor here, we have the rotor. The rotor is also rotate with the synchronous speed. Rotate with the synchronous speed, simply. The working principle is interlocking of the stator poles with the rotor poles. Here the stator RMF rotate with the synchronous speed. Therefore rotor, Poles are interlock with the stator. Interlock with stator. Therefore, stator also stator also rotate with the synchronous speed. Rotate with the synchronous speed. So this is the working of the synchronous motor. This is the working of the synchronous motor. What is, why it is called as synchronous motor? Here the motor which rotates with the synchronous speed. That means the NS. That's why 
this is called as the synchronous motor okay so we will discuss some points in the synchronous motor here just look at here armature mmf just look at here armature mmf rotate with ns field rotor is magnetically interlocked with the armature mmf then rotate with the synchronous speed so armature mmf means state or mmf state or magneto magnetomotive force and field mmf means rotor mmf rotor mmf both are interlink interlink and rotates both are interlinks and rotates rotation will be done here next synchronous motor speed is nr equal ns so very very important thing this point the motor which have the constant speed motor that's why this is called the constant speed motor the motor value the speed of the motor is the fixed constant next it always rotate with the synchronous speed due to the magnetically locking irrespective of the load so in the generally if you take the induction motor what happen when the load on the induction motor increases the speed generally the rotor speed decreases but here in case of the synchronous motor any change in the load for example load value is increases the speed is constant there is no change in the speed speed is constant therefore here the synchronous motor is constant speed motor so that's why it is called the constant speed motor okay next now we will discuss about the speed regulation speed regulation so what is the meaning of the speed regulation means generally the term speed regulation represents it is the no load speed minus full load speed by full load speed by no load speed no load speed minus full load speed by no load speed so generally you know that the synchronous uh, speed of the synchronous rotor is always synchronous speed neither in the no load condition nor be in the full load condition either uh, sorry either no load condition or full load condition speed is the constant so substitute those values the speed regulation we will get the speed regulation is like this or we can name it as a slip also here ns minus ns by ns then we will get the zero then we will get the zero so here the speed regulation is zero the motor which having the speed regulation is only the synchronous motor only the synchronous motor right so here the synchronous speed formula ns equal 120f by p 120f by p here what are the constant terms poles are fixed poles are fixed generally poles value is constant there is no change okay so then poles value is constant we can't control but only one option is there to control the speed is frequency frequency is the term by varying the frequency we can control the synchronous speed okay so here the speed of synchronous motor can be controlled by frequency it is the control is is done only by the frequency only this is also an important term speed of synchronous motor can be controlled by the frequency only okay so now we can understand the power and the torque characteristics regarding the speed regarding the speed here here just look at here this is the speed and how the speed is varies by varying the speed what is the change in power as well as the torque so here the speed starting from zero and it will reach a rated point and again will increases it is the speed more than a rated value so up to this this area is known as less than rated speed 
and this area is known as more than rated speed okay yeah this is the rated speed actually okay yeah what is the power so whenever speed is starting from zero the speed value is slowly increases up to the whenever it reaches to rated speed it slowly increases to maximum power and after that more than rated speed the power value is the constant here the power value is the constant this is the power the change in power with respect to the speed change in power with respect to the speed now what is the torque so when starting from the zero speed this is the torque when the torque is slowly increases with the speed torque will reach the point then after increasing the torque torque value is the decreases so we will change the color then it will be very useful so i will use uh, for example the another color the for example this is the color here the torque is torque is increases this point the torque is up to this point then after that the torque value is torque value is decreases so this is the torque this is the power relation and this is the torque relation power relation and the torque relation okay so we can conclude by power and torque relations we can conclude the two things so those are we can we can give the some conclusions those are given here for below rated speed just look at here the speed is below rated speed it, it will be acting as constant torque device and variable power drive and for above a rated speed it will be acting as constant power drive and variable torque drive variable torque drive so so depends on the different different speeds it will be acting like this it will be acting like this okay so this is about introduction of the synchronous motor and working of the synchronous motor and the speed regulation okay. i hope all of you understand the session thank you